Guys, what's up? So, my uh, CB radio in my uh, Bronco finally failed. Um, at least I wasn't receiving any sort of audio. So, what I tried to—I'm trying to figure out—is, um, I mean, is, is CB radio dead? And uh, I've been actually looking at this for like about a month and a half, trying to figure out if I should even buy a new radio. Uh, what you see here is—I'm uh, actually going to be putting this in my Bronco. It's a little micro uh, ham radio. And the cool thing, it's, it's a quad band radio. I'll do a, a different review on that thing or the installation of that thing. But I mean, that thing can pick up FRS, GR, GMRS, mirrors, marine radio. I mean, it can it transmit on hand bands and if you're licensed. But uh, so I'm, I'm not sure if I'm just going to use this thing as a primary radio for my Bronco or try to figure out if I should even deal with the CB anymore. So. Yeah, I've been monitoring the channels for, like I said, probably about a month and a half just to see what's up. And I'll go through the uh, channels with SDR Sharp, and you can see what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I actually have this radio attached to a, a antenna on my roof. It goes down to 25 megahertz, so it covers the CB bands. And, you know, I'm not getting any sort of signal, you know. And I've tried multiple antennas. I even have a 102-inch whip I've tried. And stuff, I, I don't get anything. I'm, I'm, I'm down here at the beach, so I'm not on the freeway. Um, but I, mean, I, know, I remember before I used to get a lot of chatter on uh, Channel Six, which was kind of like the uh, kind of like the I don't know if it's the the it's like the ghetto channel. I don't know what they call it. They call it the ghetto channel, like the nationwide ghetto channel or something. Um, but yeah, people used to that thing was always packed. But I don't even hear anything on Channel Six anymore. So Channel Nineteen, nothing. So, but. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, go through the steps, but yeah, this is a uh, this is like my old uh, my other Cobra 19, which I actually only had for about a year. You know, I never really used, and it failed before I even got a chance to even use it. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing like a snow off-roading trip here pretty soon, and I wanted to make sure I had some good radio communication. But I guess I'm glad I guess I tested it because it didn't work. But it's a Cobra 19. I'll do another video on that and the audio problems with that thing. To show you, uh, or at least have somebody maybe see that can help me troubleshoot it. But so yeah, this is my old. Uh, this is my radio I had before the Cobra 19. And let's turn this thing on. And the skeleton. I'll, 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 I mean, I'll, I'll go through SCR Sharp, and I'll tell you, I'll show you that there's nothing, nothing going on in CB. And uh, I'll show you through. I'll verify this thing works. And the cool thing about SCR Sharp and actually having a software to find radio on your computer is you can test your radios. Or at least you can test that they're transmitting. So this allows me, I, I went through and I, I tested every single channel and I know this radio is working, it's transmitting because I can hear myself. Um, so it, it really is just to verify with a massive antenna on my roof that nobody even talks on CB radio anymore. So, But you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not near a freeway, I'm actually at the beach. So, and But I'm pretty high up, I'm not, not at the bottom. Not, there's nothing obstructing my view, So at least behind me. So. All right, let's try this. Um, all right, cool. All right, guys, here in front of the SDR Sharp, and I'm gonna turn this on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me turn up the audio just a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Um, so you guys, you can see I'm in front of the CB band right here, and I'm in AM mode. And what's weird is I. Uh, I'm picking up like a like a Spanish uh, radio station here, but I guess what I wanted to do was uh, show you that verify that this channel uh, this the CB works, and like I said, I've been monitoring this for a couple weeks now, and or no, actually like over a month, and just kind of see if this is even worth to reinvest in a CB radio. But let me give you a quick test here. This is channel one, and you, as you can see in the spike, that I'm definitely broadcasting a signal. See? All right, we'll go to channel six. Oh, what happened there? Oh. That's channel six right there. I mean that that was the old channel I used to always, I used to always hear chatter on, but uh, what is this? I mean, what channel would that be? Channel, let's see, channel three. 
catch on channel three. So I don't even know where these AM. I mean, this is a different. Looks like that guy was on channel four. I mean, channel nineteen is supposed to be a busy channel. It's supposed to be a. That's in Spanish. Channel nineteen. So what's weird is where I was here on this radio station. At least it sounded like a radio station. That channel nineteen. And we'll go to channel forty. So we know they're all working. This radio is definitely working, but I mean, it's a pretty cool tool for testing a radio to make sure it's broadcasting, but I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, I have another radio I'm going to test. Uh, I cover 19. Maybe you guys can help me troubleshoot that thing with the no audio, but um, maybe I'm just going to stick with the ham radio in the, in the truck and uh, deal with that. I don't know. Cool. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, later.